Yeah, it's the Asian image. Yeah, it's the Asian image from the Asian image of Katie. And spend my money like maybe to add to my collection like crazy. It's comics, cards, and video games. This is what I do, and I'll never change. Yeah, it's the Asian image. Yeah, it's the Asian image. Comics, cards, and video games. Comics, cards, and video games. Yeah. Yo, what up, YouTube Universe? This is Katie from the Asian Image, bringing you another pickups video game pickups. Yeah, I uh, just got some more games because I'm a game collector, you know. Um, I got some play some games, video games at different places. I got them at uh, pawn shops, flea markets, Target, and some other random places. Value Village and stuff, so I am going to tell you how I got my games. I mean, I got a stack of games. So first up is, um, I went to Target recently, and I, uh, was looking at the video games, and I noticed some games on clearance, so I decided to pick them up. They were 70% off, and I'm going to show you them first before I tell you the price, alright? So first one is Castlevania Lords of the Shadow. It's not even opened yet. I haven't even played it yet. So yeah. Tell me what you think of this game. I mean, is it good? Is it bad? Does it suck? Is it great? You know? But yeah, that's Castlevania. Then I have Naruto Powerful Shippindu or Shippinden. I don't know how to say that crap. But yeah, a new real game, it's like fighting style, beat em ups, and it's kind of cartoony. Well, it's a cartoon show, but yeah. So I got two, uh, two 3DS games. Guess how much I paid for them? Eight fifty for two, um, games. Well, eight fifty each. Well, yeah, about eight fifty. So yeah, I picked those up, and that's a pretty good deal for 3DS games. Alright, next up, I just picked this up today actually, at the pawn shop, it's Enter the Matrix, and it is complete with both discs and the manual, and the funny story about this was, I was gonna, well I went to go check out the games and stuff, but I uh, only had $4 with me and the game is $5. So I'm like, I only have four dollars. Well, and then he, so he said he'd look up the, how much they paid for it. So I got this game for three eighty, ladies and gentlemen, three eighty. Now that's a pretty good deal for a GameCube game or the pawn shop. But yeah, Enter the Matrix. Then at the same, oh no, I got this. Never mind. I was gonna say the same place, but I got this at. Well, I'll show the game first. Xbox, the Warriors for Xbox, and I always I try, I have this for the PS2, and now I have it for the Xbox. But it is complete, and I paid four dollars for it. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I think I don't know what this game's going for, but I think it's more than five dollars. So I did a pretty good de got a pretty good deal. Then we have I got this at um this last Sunday at my local flea market and I got this for I think two dollars and it's Looney Tunes Akam Arsenal Akam I don't know how to say that Akami yeah anyway I'm not gonna try to keep saying that word but it's not complete does have the manual but for three bucks that's not a bad deal for Xbox game um, just gonna put these down there. Next up, I got this uh, Wii game at the garage sale. Ben 10, Alien Force. Now it says four dollars on it, but I got him down to three dollars. It is complete. I just wanted another Wii game for my collection. It's not the greatest game. Ben 10's a little weird. He can like use his like ring or his wrist watch or whatever to transform into different characters. So, yeah, three bucks. Then we got 
Oh, where did I get this game? I'm trying to remember. I remember. I got this at uh, Salvation Army for two bucks. Trigger Man, another GameCube game for my collection. Black Label. No, no, I didn't get this. Oh, what did I say that? I got this at, um, let me get this. At a local game store. It's a game store, comic book store, music store. It's a really cool store. But he he gave it to me for two fifty. That's what it was, two fifty. But yeah, not too bad. I've never actually seen this game before. I I don't know why, but yeah. And this game, I got uh. Well, I got Value Village, Animal Crossing, and it is player's choice. But it was ten dollars. But the reason I picked it up was, it has, I don't know if you can see that, uh, take it out, the Animal Crossing memory card in it. It came with the game, so I thought that was a pretty good bonus. But yeah, I uh, on the disc, it's not too bad, but it doesn't come with a manual, so if you guys have a manual and you want to trade for something, just hit me up. I am looking for the manual, but yeah. I played this on the DS and I liked it. I haven't played it on the GameCube and I have it for the Wii. So now I have it for the GameCube. Um I do those separate. Uh, I'll probably show you okay. I uh, went to another pawn shop recently and I picked up a couple games. They were five bucks each. And the first one, when I saw it. I was like, ooh, this is pretty cool, but it wasn't the really r rare one, but it's still pretty cool, and that's the Flintstones, Rescue of Dino, Dino and Hoppy, and I, I just saw the, like, label, I'm like, oh, the Flintstones, but it was, wasn't the one that is the valuable one, but I think this one's pretty cool, there's a little bit, if you can see it, a little bit of label damage, but I'm pretty happy with this, I paid five bucks for it. So, you know, what can you do? That's a pretty good deal. Then I found this game, Super Pitfall. And I just remember seeing a commercial for it, well, like on YouTube and stuff. I was like, I was surrounded by crocodiles and I had to jump over them. It's, the graphics are kind of funny compared to real other games, new games. But, you know, Super Pitfall. And then I got a black label, Excite Bike. And I like bike games, motorcycle games. But yeah, for five bucks, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And it boosts up my NES collection. Then at I uh, was at my flea market. This isn't in any order, but whatever. Uh, and I traded a, I traded a game for another game. And I got To the Earth. And I have, I guess it's a space gun game, but I, the label is like in such good condition. If you can see that, I don't know if it would, you can see it very well. But I thought for the game I traded, I think it was like Brain Age for the DS. I don't know if that's a good deal, but I had two. I got the Brain Age for like a buck, so you know, like now I get NES game. Okay, I'll show this thing. Um, I picked up some of the Animal Crossing, right? And I got these two things the same day, except the, uh, I don't even have shit, but I got these games. The lady didn't charge me for them, so I got them for free. That's pretty bad, but, I mean, Value Village charges freaking stupid prices for some of the games, so, I don't know. Ooh, I feel kind of bad, but what can you do? I mean, I can't be like, go back to the store and be like, oh, I didn't pay for it. I could, but for free games, you know, sometimes Value Village charges like like $29 for like a SNES game. That's not even worth that. But I know I should take them back, but I got Star Wars for the Game Boy for $7.99. And then, ah, oh, crap. Oh, I got a Game Shark for, I don't know what system, Game Boy Advance maybe?
but for four bucks. So basically I got these games for free. I don't know what happened, but when I was in the car, I looked at my receipt and I noticed I didn't see seven ninety nine or three ninety nine on the receipt, so I'm pretty bad. I feel bad, Value Village, I'm sorry. Sorry. Alright. Continuing on, I got this game for four dollars. Kung Fu Heroes. This was last weekend. I haven't made a video since then, but yeah, last weekend. And I thought it looked pretty cool. But yeah. I don't know much about this game. They look like little jelly beans. <laughs> jelly bean fighter. Anyway. And from the same seller, I picked up this. Holy crap, I did not see the back of this. This sucks. But look at the back. It's freaking. Oh, this sucks. But yeah, I got. Great. Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball Max D and it's got the game if I can get it out the game and the manual so oh, it actually has the Game Boy Health and Safety booklet that's kind of cool but for four bucks I mean whatever I guess anyway got that game next my last thing I have I got this at, what was it, the source, and it was on clearance, for five bucks, I got World of Warcraft, I do not know how to say that, Cataclysm, Cataclysm, and I don't know how much, I mean, I played the first Warcraft, World of Warcraft game, so, not the very first one, the the newer ones. But yeah, World of Warcraft. It's a pretty popular game, so five bucks, what the hell, you know? Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. I mean I I need more games. This is this is it. Anyway, I hope you like the video. I mean, I'm not really professional, like I don't have like a cool background or something, but I'm trying to do my best and what I got. The lighting might be good, might be bad, I don't know. But like the video, comment, subscribe, you know the deal, you know? And uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video and I'm going to make another one soon. So until next time, catch you on the flip side. Later!